up. Well, one, one of the key reasons why they recorded that loss was a 3.5 billion exchange um, rate loss they incurred um, as a result of the devaluation of the Naira in, in December. However, they, they did well if you look at the, the um, figures for 2008. Revenues increased by about 80%, um, which led to a resultant increase in their bid down operation, operating profit. However, um, due to large expansion that, um, and capital expand, expenditure that the company incurred um, last year, they, they reported an operating loss of about um, 4 billion, which was of, of course aggravated by the exchange rate loss I mentioned earlier, which um, led to the 8 billion Naira loss at the end of the year. Do you think Starcoms will be able to sustain itself this year, considering that the telecoms industry is rather competitive in Nigeria? Well, it, it looks like they will be able to sustain um, their model going forward. Um, why do I say that? In Q1, um, they, they already have um, a, a positive EBITDA levels of um, a little over 400 million. However, once again, they had um, 3.6 billion Naira op um, operating profit, um, sorry, net profit at the Q1 2009. Of course, that was equally um, a result of the exchange um, rate loss that the, the company incurred. However, if, if you look at the growth in revenues and the, growth, and the fact that they are, management is very conscious of um, the cost implication of the expansion in 2008, which they have told the market that they're going to cut down on aggressively. They are not going to be doing the kind of expansion they, they did last year. So that means capital expenditure and resultant depreciation on their books will not be there this year. So we expect that um, going forward, things would look more, for 2009 may not be as um, positive as one would expect, but going from the, the, the first quarter result, it looks like um, they are working hard to ensure that, that the return the company back to profitability. Does Starcoms have any plans on expansion? For 2009, no. Um, going by what the management released to the market um, today, um, like I said earlier, they, they raised um, capital last year, equity capital, and uh, expanded aggressively. Um, right now, they have about 2.3 million aggressive subs um, active subscribers from 900 million in 2007. So right in 2008, what they did was to expand aggressively across the country to compete effectively. That being done, um, 2009, I guess they're going to concentrate on ensuring that they keep costs within um, acceptable levels and return the company to profitability. Let's